Today, we'll be taking a look at potentially the new king of affordable micro brand chronographs. This style of watch is a hard craft to master. Balancing style, size, and design is no easy feat. So, when a watch actually manages to do it, we should take note. Now, finding a good chronograph under $500 is also a difficult task. The Seiko Speed Timer does come close, but unfortunately costs around $200 more than the budget. The Boulevard Lunar Pilot does come in around the $500 mark, but it is a very large watch that won't work for everybody. The Yama Rallygraph is a beautiful chronograph, but unfortunately only comes with a mineral crystal. And the Siegel 1963 is a fantastic option that does come under this budget, but it does come with a movement that is very expensive to service. Today's watch fixes all of the problems of the watches mentioned, and in some cases even outperforms them. So let's put this watch through the 10 point challenge and see what it scores out of 10. So this watch is the Stratton Sportiva. Stratton is a micro brand that was founded in Switzerland in 2015. Now Stratton primarily focuses on creating racing inspired watches. The designer and founder Kyle draws from the past from previous racing watches. However, these are not homages. He doesn't copy any other design. He takes inspiration from watches of the past and puts his own spin on things. Now one of the most striking things about this Sportiva model is the incredibly vintage looking dial. This dial is very busy, but fairly functional at the same time. There is a lot of symmetry with the dial with the date complication being at the six o'clock and that deep wood effect of the dial is exceptional to look at which plays with the light so well and because of that dark wooden effect of the dial the hands really are legible against it and the legibility of the chronograph hands is very easy. The orange colour really does pop against all the other colours on the dial. Nothing unusual with the specs here it comes with a steel case. Covering the dial there is a boxed flat sapphire crystal with AR coating. Now the signed crown does screw down, which means we do have an impressive 100 meters of water resistance, which is never really a need for a chronograph, but it's always nice to have. Now the case back isn't screwed down as such, but it is screwed in, and there is a laser etched artwork of a driver at the wheel on the case back. Now of course, being a chronograph and being an affordable chronograph, this isn't a mechanical option. Instead, this watch uses the Seiko Mecha Quartz movement, specifically the VK64. However, if you like the style of this watch, but you don't want it to be a chronograph, they also offer an automatic version that comes with the Swiss Solita SW200. But the VK64 inside of the chronograph version is a good movement. It gives you the accuracy and the reliability of a quartz module, but the feel and visuals of a mechanical chronograph. This can be seen with the smooth sweep of the chronograph seconds and the snappy tactile buttons that you use to activate and deactivate the chronograph. One thing that you should notice about this movement is that there is no running seconds. I actually see this as a positive because you don't get that one tick per second on the dial. Now, technically the shape of this watch is an octagonal case. However, it does look very squared in design. All of the steel surfaces are completely brushed, which gives the watch a really Thule aesthetic. And there is a very deep knurling to that crown, which makes it very easy to grip. The lugs are hidden under the case, so you can pretty much put any strap or bracelet you want on this watch, and it should look pretty good. There is loom on this watch on the hands and indices, and considering how little space the loom actually takes up, it looks really good. And it shines much brighter than a lot of watches I've tried that have bigger portions of loom. I'm actually pretty impressed with the quality of the loom on this watch. Again, not always a need with a chronograph, but it's always nice to have. Now, this watch comes with two straps. The first is a rally style bracelet. The bracelet features solid links that feature screw pins to adjust, and it features a signed milled clasp with five levels of micro adjustment. So finding a fit with this watch shouldn't be a problem at all. The bracelet integrates with the case very well, and it suits the overall style and design of the watch too. The second leather supplied strap is also fantastic. It suits the style very well, and the the chunky buckle is a pleasure to operate. Now, although this watch looks large on wrist, the wearing dimensions are actually very small. It comes in with a 38 millimeter case diameter, a 44 millimeter lug to lug, and a 12 and a half millimeter thickness. But because of the squared nature of the case, the watch looks so much larger on wrist than the dimensions suggest. However, this watch is extremely comfortable. But if you think that this watch is too small for your taste, fear not, they also sell the exact same watch in both the chronograph and the automatic, in a larger 41 millimeter option. Now this watch loosely reminds me of the Tag Heuer Monaco with its vintage vibes and clear racing aesthetic. It has that really cool racing track look around the outer dial with the minute markers and that beautiful wood grain textured dial really completes the look. But if you aren't a fan of these particular colors, fear not, Stratton also sell a range of other options, all of which are a little bit bold and flamboyant, but I feel like it suits the style of the watch really well. Now this watch comes in at $499 
just with the leather strap. However, for only an extra $40, you can pick up the watch, strap, and the bracelet. But do sign up to the Strata newsletter, which will get you 5% off of your order. And for that price, I think that this watch is a fairly unique package that is offering something that not many other brands do. The specs are definitely there for $500. I wouldn't say that it's lacking in anything in particular. And I like the story and the idea behind Stratton and what they're trying to achieve. This is very much a sporty watch that is bursting with vintage charm. And I think that Stratton have nailed the racing car aesthetic so well, giving you a fairly unique looking chronograph that still fits into one particular genre, which should appeal to anyone that likes a racing chronograph or is into cars in general. So in the 10 point challenge, this watch scored a out of 10, which is actually a very respectable score. So big thank you to Stratton for sending this watch in for review. I'll leave a link to the Stratton website in the description where you can check out all the different colors of this watch, the sizes and the different movements available.